What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. Today's video, I'm gonna give you guys five different ways to make $1,000 with zero dollars. This is really important because this is how to be resourceful and it's the whole point of this channel. Um, last year during the summer, I did a reseller Nirvana store where I was able to make a full-time living starting with zero dollars and just reinvesting it. It took 74 days, but more important than that experiment is what I learned having no money and having to wait a couple of days for my limits to go up, having to wait a couple of weeks for my payments to clear. Cause when you open a, a new account, they don't give you enough listings. So you have to wait for the money to come back and you might as well wait anyway, cause you have no money. So you're just starting with things around the house. But today I'm going to go over all five different ways that you can make a thousand with zero. And it's going to help you no matter what level reseller you are, this type of resourcefulness really takes you to the next level. Number one is identifying a way that you can earn money. Now this is gonna be which platform you choose, whether it's eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, whatnot. You pick the platform that makes the most sense for what you sell. So currently I am on whatnot, but as of this week, I started my, my Poshmark closet. So I've sold on Poshmark before, I've done about 500,000, but I opened a brand new Poshmark account because I wanted to show people what it's like starting from zero. So I still have my daily refinement Poshmark account, but I put it on vacation. So I just started this new account with 10 items. And I'm gonna go over exactly what I did with it, but I essentially took about 30 minutes to list my first 10 items, photos and listing and putting the items away. I'm gonna go over that in step number five, but you need to identify a platform to make money. I always recommend eBay first. eBay and Amazon are the two biggest. So you'll always hear people who are on eBay and Poshmark really just trying to stick to their platform and making it work. But you'll hear a lot of people who sell on Poshmark and Mercari talking about wanting to cross list on a bigger platform. But I've never heard an Amazon seller say, I wanna start a Poshmark closet. So you might as well start at the top, Amazon, eBay. Um, if you have the right kind of inventory, you can sell on a platform like whatnot, but it's important to identify what makes sense for you. I have a lot of clothing, everybody has clothing. Most resellers, in my opinion, start with clothing. That's why I've chosen Poshmark to start. Number two is to work with what you have around you. So I didn't do any kind of fancy setup for my photos. I just essentially use my cell phone. I'm gonna compare my cell phone to a camera in the following weeks, but I just have a cell phone and I, got some, I grabbed some stuff from around the house. I got three sports bras from my wife. I got a bunch of shoes I no longer wear and I got a scarf. Now, during the listing process, I would say listing 10 items only took me about eight minutes, but I spent 14 minutes researching. So I didn't know what category sports bras was in. And on Poshmark, it's actually in the intimates category, which is a little bit, it's not intuitive. So I wasn't sure. So it took me like two minutes to figure out what category it was in. And then I had to research the price and figure out more or less what it was going to actually sell for. Now, again, it's really important to understand what things sell for. That's actually number three, which is which items sell and for how much. So in this video, I go over 193 things that I actually sold in my whatnot stream for about $8,000. So you can go to the end of the video, everything will be timestamped and click if you wanna learn some different brands to sell. But essentially, when I looked these items up, I didn't really know anything about the scarf that I sold. I've, I think I've only sold a handful of scarves in my entire career, but just, Knowing how to look it up only took me a few minutes to figure out what the scarf was and an approximate value to sell it at. Also shoes, I always look up the exact shoe because with shoes you get the, you get the SKU number. So you can look up pretty much the exact market on that pair of shoes. Um, shoe pictures take a little less time than clothing because there's no measurements. So I know all the different parts of the process and also um, what they sell for. And that's really, really important. Number three is researching what sells and what they sell for. A lot of people find items that sell, but they don't price the items correctly. So you either buy stuff that doesn't sell or you buy stuff that sells and price it too high and it never sells. So ultimately you have to figure that part out. Um, that's also gonna lead into how your numbers work. So I'm gonna keep track this year of my profit reselling. And it's interesting, first week profit reselling um, was $3,620. Um, the bulk of that was actually my show on Friday. Um, the inventory that I run with my staff is gonna be included in this. So I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of totals. What I do myself, what I do with my crew and total. So first week, $3,620. It's off my pace of trying to aim for $5,400 profit every single week all year. So I missed my goal on the first week, but I have a whole bunch of different ideas to get that back on track. And if you're not tracking, then you can't adjust. 
So if you're behind, I can always adjust my performance and activity to be a little bit higher in the upcoming weeks to get back on track. And it really lets you know when you fall behind, you got to get back on the horse immediately. Otherwise, you get into like a really deep hole. Number four is you need creative ways to save money. So in the video, we actually include me making my own boxes with USPS free priority label supplies. So it takes me about 15 minutes to make 30 boxes. So that's about 30 seconds per box. This saves me probably two or three dollars per box if I were to just buy the boxes. So it's important to realize every single dollar you save can go back into another piece of inventory that can help grow your store. There's a few time lapses in this video, including um, me taking photos, but that's part of step number five. So number five is you really have to understand the skills required to resell. And it's gonna come down to customer service, it's gonna come down to how the platform works, all the platform rules. So in this sample, I actually created a Poshmark account, which will be in this video. It took about one minute. I took the photos, that took about eight minutes and 45 seconds. And I listed my first 10 items, which took about 22 minutes. So when you time everything out, it took me about half an hour to get my Poshmark up and going. So that's really important to understand. And those skills I learned in my mentorship, which I have at patreon.com slash the resource podcast. If you want to learn how to resell, we have something called the eBay white papers, which is the fastest way to earn a thousand dollars or build a profitable eBay business. And that's eBay focused, but I'm going to start adding in all the other platforms into that resource for everybody because it's very much similar. And you need to start identifying what is it that makes these platforms similar? Why is it that I lost my account on eBay, but my income didn't change. This is why I'm not really into thinking about putting your eggs in the different baskets. I'm more in the skill development because if you know how to resell, you know how to build relationships, you'll always have supply and you'll always have a platform that will allow you to sell those goods. So focusing on the skills, in my opinion, is much more important than selling on 10 different platforms, but you don't have any skills. So as an example, if I don't resell, I can just translate this, these exact things that I have learned at a regular job and I probably would still be successful because it all comes down to traffic, getting people to check out what your items are, um, making sure you demonstrate the right value and accurately portraying the item. That's what item specifics are. That's what the title is. That's what gets people to believe you that you actually have the item that they are looking for. Having favorable business policies is really like building a good relationship. Do you want to tell people no returns under any circumstances? Um, if we send you the wrong thing, we don't cover it. If you don't have the right tools in place, then people are not going to trust you. The nice thing about selling online is that a customer can open a chargeback no matter what, and their credit card company is going to give them their money back. So there's no way you can scam people because they can just tell their credit card company, get a full refund, and it'll get deducted from you. So it's really important. These are the five ways to start a store with no money. And you need to keep this mentality even when you get some jingle in your pocket because it's really easy to get lazy and do things that are not important once you start making some money. I see people, including myself, start investing in things that don't matter. Essentially, I did these 10 listings on this table with no lighting kit, just the lighting in the room. And the photos are okay. Their photos are good enough to sell. So don't go investing in a label printer, expensive camera, expensive lighting right from the beginning because you don't even know if this is going to work out. In the beginning when I'm giving you an avenue to make money, I'm saying eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, whatnot, a platform to resell. But there's a million other ways to earn money. You could be a writer. You could, be, um, you could do surveys. There's a lot of different ways you can earn money online. Reselling, I think, has no cap and you can scale it really large and the margins are awesome and you don't have to wait for a project. If you're a writer, you have to wait for somebody to ask you to write something. It's the same with freelance work, but with reselling, you can go out there and make it happen. So I'm pretty excited about that being really the most obvious way to me that a person can make $1,000 with nothing. That's the same mentality that can help you make millions of dollars. So I appreciate you guys. This video is going to be a little bit of a weird hodgepodge, like I said before, but check out our sponsor, the Reseller Podcast Mentorship Group, and also look at the timestamps in the description. You'll be able to follow along. Every single week this year, I want to include a time lapse. So get you guys on the same mentality as me, is that everything needs to be timed and figured out how long it takes so that you can improve it. What gets measured gets improved. Until next time, guys, make progress daily. All right, guys, so I'm making boxes for wholesale right now. I'm just going to time myself on how long it takes to make 30 boxes. So let's get into it. And each
each one of these boxes is going to have 13 of these. 13 pairs of these. Yeah. Okay. For 12. 12. 12. Fifteen? Yep. Exactly? Really? All right, guys, we're gonna go over my flea market finds for the last week. So I finally broke my streak of finding 128 items. I found 187-ish items. So we're gonna go over them real quick. Um, so I pick up Victoria's Secret pink as long as the logo is big in the front. They don't sell for a ton of money, but they do sell quick. I think it's cute. It's easy to find, especially if it's um, a hoodie. It's just easy to sell. I pick up all San Francisco Giants stuff. So in the show, Oakland Raiders, San Jose Sharks, we'll pick up a lot of sports stuff. Um, and I'm gonna skip through the rest of the Giants and A's and sports stuff that I see because you guys know to pick it up in your area. It's gonna be regional, so I'm gonna skip over those particular items and you'll see them sell actually next Thursday and not next Friday because I have a different show planned for Friday. So these will go up Thursday. Um, this Mountain Dew sweatshirt is pretty awesome. And it's actually on a Mountain, Mountain Dew tag. That's pretty cool. So um, nice back hit. Also some, some cool stuff on the sleeve. Do the do. Um, this Carhartt chore jacket is real nice. It's actually a 4XL. So um, this is really cool. So Carhartt sells well. And people will actually pay for this patina. You guys can see this wear that's already built into the vest. That's, that's a really cool piece. I don't know what this is. I don't know this brand, Hunsaker. Um, I just thought it was a cool jacket, so we ended up picking it up, but never heard of it. I'll have to look it up later. Oakland A's, as you guys know, pick up all MLB stuff. Um, this is a Gap Kids puffer vest, double extra large. That's probably like a women's large. North Face baby coat. This is actually really cute. Um, you know what? I'll probably keep this for Natalie. So we'll keep that one for my baby. Um, next is this USS Vector, I don't, is Vector this person's last name? I don't know what this jacket is, but it looks like something cool. Maybe it's military issue. Oh yeah, US Army men's field coat. That's cool, US Army men's field coat. So this is probably the person's jacket. Um, we've got an Adidas pair of sweatpants, Patagonia puffer. So I pick up pretty much all Patagonia. <clears throat> Lululemon shorts. Uh, Filson, so this is CC Filson, one of our Bolo brands. Um, size medium, navy shirt, brand new. Filson's one of the best brands to sell. It's a good one. Um, this is a pair of Trespass mountain pants. So it's a no-name brand, but I pick up pretty much all snow gear if it's a buck or two. Um, Columbia Teachers College. So this is new with tags and it's new champion. Normally I wouldn't pick this up, but it's just something that one of my suppliers got. So I got as well. This bear I'm not familiar with. Um, his name apparently is Screenshot, um, but I thought it was cool. I picked up cool graphic tees. This is Jam Couture. You can look at the button. I've never heard of that. Um, but again, I pick up these utility pants. We got Oregon, Beavers, Another Carhartt jacket, and again, all this Carhartt stuff I buy regardless of what company logo. Carhartt resells really well. Disney. This Kuji sweater is pretty insane. So, you know, Biggie, rest in peace, used to wear these, and this is a great size, size large. So these sweaters sell for buku money. I'm gonna ask, uh, I'm gonna start at a dollar on my auction stream, but you could probably ask 200, 200 plus for this on eBay. Uh, Nike shorts, nothing fancy. North Face jacket, size extra large. I love these waterproof jackets. This is Madewell. Uniqlo puffer jacket. I pick up all these, these puffer jackets. They sell really well. Orvis fuzzy sweater. Abercrombie and Fitch field jacket. Uh, this is a little baby Athleta, Athleta girls vest. RLX is a really fancy um, sportswear brand by Ralph Lauren. And this is, this is crazy. It's got the RLX tab, but this Polo Sport on the inside. That's interesting. 
I'm gonna have to take that out and ask Tech about it. RLX Polo Sport. This is a Levi's jacket. Um, this is funny. It's personally bedazzled. I thought we canceled Gucci. So it's not done very well, but I think it's kind of cute. Somebody will buy it. Marmot, really good brand. Resell. This is a goose down vest. Lululemon, Lululemon again. North Face. We got Travis Matthew, really excellent brand. This is like a size medium. I was going to say I should keep it, but I always say that. Pink, and again, I pick up all uh, lounge wear by pink because it's comfortable and sells fast. We'll move to the next rack. Thermal, um, San Francisco 49ers, North Face, Champion, North Face, Thrasher. All Thrasher stuff sells well for me. This is Refrigerware, which I've never heard of. Maybe it's worth bank. We'll have to look it up as we go. So when I don't know, I just look it up. Adidas, North Face. This is what I mean by mall brands. Madewell, Pink. Another North Face, Victoria's Secret. As you guys see, I sell the same brands over and over again. Adidas, um, this is a San Francisco Giants jersey. Champion. Tiny Tina's Wonderland, so I'm not familiar with this. It's probably just a custom print on a Champion tag. Lululemon, 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 Lululemon. So four Lululemon in a row. We got this uh, Cherokee double extra large leather jacket. Very, very heavy, real leather. Um, I don't know what that logo is on the champion tag. So maybe if you guys know, throw in the comment section. DS. Orvis with the fishing lure, size 2XL, quarter zip. Columbia made well, cut off shorts. Uh, see, after a while, you can recognize the denim color and the button. And I, and I read made well on the button. So when you're thrifting quickly and you're going through racks, eventually you can recognize what it is. Nike, this is a Laborers Local 389. So I really like buying stuff that is involved in construction or local companies because somebody might be look for, looking for it. It's also 4XL, which is a great size. This is funny. I might keep this if it was my size. Coors, um, hooded vest. It's pretty awesome with the banquet tag on the back. Made well. Nike SB, so Nike skateboarding, made well. This is Lululemon, this is Columbia, this is Craftsman, so Craftsman overalls, kind of cool, like the tool set. Made well, made well, LL Bean, I get up all the, all the puffer and flannels from them. Some of the button downs. This is another pair of snowboarding pants by um, Kirkland, which is Costco. Sell those for a couple bucks. Um, San Francisco, Giants, North Face, this is brand new Champion Snow Pant, San Jose Sharks, Eddie Bauer, Lululemon, Nike, Puma, uh, Nike, True Religion, and then the Snapchat hoodie, which is kind of cool. Eddie Bauer, we got Kill City, which I've never heard of, but it's a cool knit sweater. Peter Millar, this is... The North Face, utility, utility convertible pants. These turn into shorts. Mickey, on this old Mickey Unlimited tag. That's cool. It's a cool tag. We've got um, Ralph Lauren. This is a really nice furry, furry coat. More North Face, Banana Republic uh, pea coat. Nordic design. This is a really, really nice sweater. North Face again, North Face again. This J. Crew sweater has a hole in it, so obviously we'll sell for less. But it's a full zip. North Face again, this has got some dog hair on it. I'll probably use the lint roller later. Patagonia, small nano puff jacket. Giants, North Face, made well. This is a, a fake Nike um, sweater. That's pretty funny, so I picked it up anyway. You can't sell this online, but I thought it was cool. Uh, Madewell, Adidas, Carhartt, um, Ralph Lauren again. So this is Lauren, Ralph Lauren, kind of one of the lower ends of Ralph Lauren, but still okay. Ellen Tracy jacket. Outerwear is going to be fine. I'm going to pick it all up. As you guys have noticed, most of my stuff is outerwear. North Face, North Face, 
Lululemon, North Face. Spider, very, very good brand. North Face, this is probably Madewell. Nope, Urban Outfitters, these are really cute. This is a jumper, Madewell, Uniqlo. Harley Davidson leather jacket, this is a cool. Uh, Lacoste, Patagonia, Lululemon. This is Lululemon again. Giants, Polo Ralph Lauren, Mountain Hardware, the North Face, Lululemon again, Lululemon again, Lululemon again, Polo, North Face, Lululemon, Beta brand, which is an awesome brand, you guys know, I love it, the North Face, Nike, we'll definitely clean this before selling it, Miko, I don't know that brand, so I'll have to look it up, Miko, Columbia, San Jose Sharks, Columbia, North Face, Champion, Made Well Again, San Jose Sharks, Timberland, Banana Republic Peacoat again, Santa Cruz. This logo is very famous, just like the uh, Secret Spot logo. Members Only Jacket, this logo. Members Only, North Face, Walt Disneyland. Try to stick it somewhere on the material where it doesn't damage the garment and also it's easy to find. Vans. This is a vintage piece that I picked up that I don't normally buy, but it's interesting. LRG, Lifted Research Group. That's a cool piece, urban brand. This is the North Face again. Nice puffer jacket. Jordan, San Francisco. This is just a tourist um, track jacket. So this is not a brand or anything. It's just something that you'd buy on the street. Amsterdam Yoda. Oh, uh, New Amsterdam Vodka, North Face Vest. Um, Dudley Motorcycles, that's a cool piece. North Face, this is a big storm jacket. Um, should sell really well. This is Ava and V, which I think is Target. 1X means plus size one. Like That's like uh, extra large for women's. Plus size, starts 1X, 2X, 3X. North Face, True Religion, North Face. North Face, Calvin Klein, Coat. So I will pick up the lower brands if it's outerwear. Black River, San Francisco Giants, North Face. This is a really cool tee, or sorry, Sausick, which I've never heard of, but I just think it's a cool, I think that's Bobby Jones. San Francisco 49ers, Niners, North Face, Madewell. Madewell, this is um, Outdoor Voices, really good brand. Marmot, Columbia, Lululemon, Polo, Giants, North Face, Michael Kors, Mickey Mouse, Disney. Juventus is a soccer team. Lululemon, and last piece is, don't know what, I don't know what this is. It just says Mexican textiles. Kind of a cool print. And the final one is made well. So that's 186 pieces for this week. We'll start with this auction in just a moment. So this is a really nice Polo Ralph Lauren size large puffer jacket. It has two holes in it. Wow, Asel, did you just, that's crazy. That's a crazy price for that. North Face on deck. You guys ready? Locate Jacob, appreciate you stopping by and your first purchase from us. Marmot on deck. Very furry, very comfortable. There's the logo. King Kapuha, thank you for your purchase. This is a really nice Scully Western shirt. See Dame, thank you for your purchase. We got some vintage Levi's up next. Jason, nice pickup. Mountain and the Wave snowsuit, size 12 large. I don't know if anywhere of you live somewhere cold, but the Mountain and the Wave snowsuit, M shot and nice pickup. This is a really cool Orvis Aztec jacket. Jason, glad that you can make it. These are LeBron's. Did you guys know LeBron James is cheap? Apparently he does not have the premium version of Spotify, he listens to the ads. All right guys, Madewell, linen pants. Jason, nice pickup. Madewell up next. Willow Thrift Shop, nice pickup. Madewell, mid-rise skinny, size 28, with some distressing in the knees. Thrill of the thrift, appreciate you. Madewell skirt, size zero, in the leopard print. Leopard print anywhere, thank you, Tiffy. Lululemon up next. Stop waiting for Friday, appreciate you. 
Lulu again, size six. This one is a more fun print. Curry T7, nice pickup. These are more Lulu up next, size six. Tiffy, nice pickup. Madewell, high rise. Stop waiting for Friday, appreciate you. Ooh, lemon legging size eight. Mary, nice pick. Marmot up next. Nice pickup, Asil. San Francisco Giants hoodie. Thrill of the thrift. You just get this Giants, Gi oh, three bucks. That's a deal. Let's go. Madewell cardigan, guys. Pink, size small. Four, four thrifty sisters? Sheesh. North Face, women's jacket size medium. Let's go. Outlet, no warranty. Let's go. This is a really cool Nike piece. John, a nice pickup. SF Giants jersey. Flipping Music City, nice pickup. <clears throat> North Face, hooded zip up, windbreaker, waterproof. Rack so that I can hang items for the stream and it's been a lot easier. Oh wait, is this a Lulu jacket you're looking for? Stop waiting for Friday, nice pickup. SF Giants on the majestic tag. Out of office, nice pickup. Adidas zip up jacket youth. Yes, it was the Nike, it was a cool piece but it had two, what looks like bleach stains on them. This is a Bristol sweatshirt, guys. Jason, nice pickup. Adidas shirt, size small. I find at least 10 Giants pieces. Madewell jeans, size 26. Oh, did you go? Let me check it out. Madewell hooded sweatshirt with the drawstring. Super cute. And a hoodie. I haven't seen a Madewell hoodie in a long time. Tiffy. Right there in front of your face. Deborah, nice pickup. Calvin Klein vest, size small. Those of you that are new here, please follow me on YouTube. LL Bean Pants, size 36, 32. We're three months away, guys. Um, Fe or, uh, April 12th due date. Mackage, this is a heavy, heavy, heavy winter coat. Guys, this is a really expensive jacket. Mackage, let's go. Columbia, size medium, guys. Zip up jacket, women's size medium. L Brittany, thank you. Madewell, high rise jeans, size 27 in the black colorway. Okay, Marmot, again, really, really nice brand. Buy my clutter, nice pickup. Really nice North Face pants coming up, guys. Susu, nice pickup. Made well. Stop waiting for Friday, nice pickup. North Face, hooded zip up. Buy my clutter, nice pickup. Made well, size small, very cute. Tenor seven, nice pickup, thank you. Champion size medium, let's go. Out of office, thank you. Disneyland Resorts on the Disneyland tag. Tisket, appreciate you. Mickey loves you. Ralph Lauren, half zip. Toy Play, nice pickup, thank you. So I don't take any requests. North Face, hooded pullover, size medium. Out of office, nice pickup. Columbia up next. Willow's Thrift Shop, nice pickup. So guys, is this a men's shirt or a women's shirt? It's made well. Tenor seven, nice pickup. Patagonia on deck. Timer does not reset, guys. Out of office, nice pickup. Patagonia with the Seneca Systems on the, uh, the sleeve. Wow, that is cheap. Out of office, nice pickup. Next is Lulu, nice pickup. North Face, Teddy Fleece, super soft. I know, right? Made in USA, Jordache. Designer treasure hunt. These are, these are called Disney jerseys, right? Ryan, thank you. Madewell, high rise skinny, excellent condition, eight out of 10. Tisket, nice pickup. Columbia 2XL jacket. Anderson, Angela, nice pickup. Nike, athletic department. Thrill of the thrift, thank you. SF hoodie, size 2XL. Tisket, thank you. All right, guys, these are absolutely insane. DM me a picture on Instagram of you wearing these. These are fire. North Face, puffer jacket. If y'all in the chat have kids, let me know how many you have and what ages. Up next, guys, LL Bean, Snap, Shacket, 20-year-old in college, Tisket, thank you. North Face, Half Up, Zip, The Odd Pairs. Thank you for your first purchase from us. Orvis, button-up shirt, size small. This one is really nice. Throw up the thrift, I appreciate you. Okay, let's do it, nice pickup. Nike drawstring, sweatpants, size extra large. What color is a North Face? Let me look at the buy now real quick, Nina. Whoa, we got vintage Columbia on deck. Out of office, nice pickup. I got this really sweet Levi's 3XL jacket. Angela, thank you. Hello, Bean, plaid. Ashton, I just followed you. This is a Fashion Nova size medium puff jacket. Fashion Nova puffer jacket. North Face, size large, boys. I don't have an issue with it. I just think, I just think it's tacky. Um, North Face, out of office, thank you. Okay, this is one of the premier pieces today. This is a down North Face jacket. V-Hop, nice pickup. World Series 2010 Champions, Giants Majestic hoodie, size large. Brian from Nevada, thank you. 
Levi's hooded puff jacket, size small. Tiffy, you're gonna love this jacket. It's really nice, puffer. Nike running jacket, size medium, women's. This is really cute. Angela, nice pickup. Prana pants, size six. Okay, let's do it, nice pickup. San Francisco Giants hoodie. Bray from Nevada, nice pickup. Columbia, size large, women's furry jacket. Violet's house, nice pickup. Another furry fleece, North Face. Nice pickup, the odd pairs. Patagonia swim shorts, men's 30. These are cool. Just a nice pickup. Lululemon up next. Stop waiting for Friday, nice pickup. Jacket, size small for girls. Windbreaker, very cute. Angela, thank you. Legging, size 10. Stop waiting for Friday, nice pickup. Orvis, V-Hop, thank you so much. Nike hooded pullover, size extra large. Threads by Z, nice pickup. Nike, size large. These are these are awesome joggers, guys. Yoon Lee, thank you. Next is North Face. May, thank you. Wow, this North Face is sick. Angela, thank you. Okay, I think this is the giant stuff. Out of office, nice pickup. North Face with the Armanilla, Armanino. I see you sniping items for a dollar on my stream. Giants button-up jersey. No worries, no worries. Not sure, but you can check the chat. This pair of Adidas button-up pants, size uh, extra small. These are the tearaway pants that you rip off when you get in the bedroom. At least, at least I do, I don't know what you guys do. Uh, Under Armour next, I believe. Under Armour? Tiffy G, nice pickup. Might want this Coleman sweater to match their Coleman thermos. Red that flipper, nice pickup. Patagonia, size medium, women's. Crazy me, nice pickup. Button up cardigan, size large. B Pat, nice pickup. This is really cool. Vintage Columbia. Designer treasure hunt, thank you. Adidas zip up jacket, youth, size large. Toy play, nice pickup. Lululemon men, size large. Let me just double check this real quick. Men's medium, medium large, Lulu. Madewell striped sweater, size extra small. Delfree, thank you. This is a really nice Patagonia. Tisket, nice pickup. Lulu, size two. You're from California too, very nice. You're in Azusa? More Lulu. I wonder how much Lulu I found. I feel like I did a lot of Lulu today. Ton of Patagucci, yeah, and in the Northeast, there's a lot. Deborah, nice pickup. North Face. Dropout, you like this, this format? Um, this is on a Disney, this is a really cute Disney piece. Brian, nice pickup. North Face, this is the Mavify logo. The Odd Pair is nice pickup. Patagonia. The Odd Pair is nice pickup. This is Lululemon, men's size extra large. Logan, this is a uh, North Face, men's size extra large. Buy My Clutter, nice pickup. Nike shirt, size small, dry fit. Biscuit, nice pickup. This is a Storm Jacket. North Face, how's the fam? Fam is good. North Face up next. Buy My Clutter, nice pickup. North Face, youth, extra large. This could definitely fit a women's medium easily. Mary's Fun Finds, nice pickup. Okay, this is something that might be pretty special. It's a heavy leather jacket. Michael Hoban, out of office, nice pickup. This is a really nice REI jacket. Sorry for the delay. I will check it out after the stream. This is kind of a crazy jacket. This is a, it looks like a swim jacket because it's super long. It's the Stanford Community Emergency Response Team. Super heavy, it's kind of cool. Flea Market Flares, size 26. Wow, I didn't know they had, they had those. It's literally called Flea Market Flare. B-Pat, nice pickup. Diesel up next. Bremen, nice pickup. Goodfellow in denim. Michiana, nice pickup, that's a steal. This is a Timberland double extra large hoodie. Tiffy, nice pickup. You're gonna be really happy with this one. Tiffy, you got some amazing finds today. Faraday is a bolo, size large men's. It's a bolo, guys. Brian, nice pickup. Dicky, zip up jacket, size small. Oh my God, buy my clutter. Okay, this is a Massimo duty jacket. No, you're all good. Uh, you gotta let people win some. Madewell, this is a duster, duster cardigan. Um, I just want you guys to make the boxes. So it's cheaper after the first one. Orvis, size extra large, flannel, super thick. This is really nice. This is a really heavy marmot jacket. Willow, nice pickup. Large windbreaker. I think it's worth about 80 bucks, but I don't care, starting at a dollar. Brian, nice pickup. All right, guys, so I'm about to restart my Poshmark closet. So these are the first 10 items that I got out of my closet to start this experiment. So I have my Oakland A's hat that you guys have seen me wear in videos. I have four pairs of shoes that I don't wear anymore, three pairs of Under Armour running shoes, and a pair of Air Monarchs, um, three sports bras from my wife that she no longer wears, a Madewell scarf, and a Travis Matthew polo that I don't wear anymore. So these are my first 10 items. So I think it's really important with the zero to $1,000 challenge, you just start with what you have so you can learn how to make money. The whole goal of this experiment is to figure out how to make $1,000 with nothing. Start with what you have, and the whole goal is to 
teach you guys how to be resourceful. So it's not about what you start with, it's about what you make out of what you have. So let's see how long it takes me to do 10 sets of photos using my phone, and I'll compare it next week when I use a camera. That's it. How long was that video? Uh, around the clip, eight minutes, 40 seconds. How long? Eight minutes, 40 seconds. Awesome. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. I got a couple more ideas for you. One is you really have to learn how to make do with whatever happens to you because in, in my area, in the Bay Area, we have these this weird flooding going on right now. There's like incessant rain. I've also been feeling very weird lately. So um, I don't feel the best. The weather is not the best but the show must go on. I think it's, it's easy to do when you're feeling great, but what really separates people from getting there and not is doing it when it's not great. Like Holly made it here today, even though the weather is horrible. So I think it's, it's so easy to do when you're feeling awesome, but I hope that this video is proof to show you guys that it doesn't always go as planned. Um, but as long as you have a plan, um, I'm gonna give you guys one more analogy, which is I'm taking this course for toddlers called Big Little Feelings and essentially kids throw tantrums when things don't go as planned. If they don't know why you're picking them up and you try to pick them up, they're, they're probably gonna scream bloody murder. And that's what resellers do when things don't go as planned. When a return um, happens or there's some kind of fraud or any of these things happen, they basically throw an adult temper tantrum. And the way to fix it with a toddler is actually to revert back to the plan and acknowledge the emotion just say i understand that you're upset because um, you wanted this green plate but you asked for the green plate so that's okay we're gonna we're gonna complete the dishes and then go back to playtime. and then the toddler might still be mad and you can say i understand that you're mad everyone feels bad especially when things don't go as planned but we're gonna put this away and then go back to our next activity so as an adult um, that's how we need to deal with things not going as planned Acknowledge it, acknowledge how you feel. I don't feel great, but that's okay. I have a plan for today. I wanted to make this video. I have a whole bunch of things to plan for the rest of the week. So you go back to the plan, acknowledge how you feel. And I think that's a really positive way to deal with life.